Hey everybody, have you been waiting to check out how I would do a mini Yule altar? That's coming up in just a minute, right after this. Hey guys, I'm Mel from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner, the operator, and the creator here. And today is Witchy Wednesday. It's also Winter Solstice. It's also Yule. It's also the day that Jupiter has gone into Aries. Lots of stuff going on here. I decided today, because it's Witchy Wednesday, and I had done a Dollar Tree run for our vision board video that's coming up on Friday this week. Check that out that I was going to pick up supplies to do a mini Yule altar because I've been slacking and I really didn't do an altar for myself for Yule. So I have all the different materials here. I'm gonna walk you through everything. I do wanna quickly say to you guys, this is guidelines. I've said this before in other videos. This is just kind of a base for some thoughts of where to go and the rest is all up to you. Now, I am Mel, if you didn't know. I am the owner, the creator here. I have an Instagram, I have a TikTok, I have a Facebook. The TikTok you can find in the YouTube shorts. I don't have it linked down below, but everything else is. I also have a website, melsdivination.com. So pop over there and check it out if you're interested in intuitive readings or coaching sessions with me. Now, the only other thing I wanted to go over is this channel does all kinds of content. We have Witchy Wednesdays, Flip Through Fridays, Astrology, and tarot weekly updates. And then I also do live tarot reading polls by donation. Check all that out if some of that or all of it interests you and feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna catch me live, make sure you hit that notification bell because I do not announce it the majority of the time in my scattered world. And with that, welcome, and we are gonna get right into all of this. I've gathered the materials that I plan on using here. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step what they are, but first, I'm gonna talk about the incense. This is a eucalyptus incense that I have. It's not very expensive, but it is something that does the job for cleansing. So I'm going to light it. I usually use matches, but in interest of time today, I had a lighter nearby, and that is what I'm going to use. It doesn't always have to be matches. It doesn't always have to be a lighter. Use what you have on hand. And same goes for magic in any materials like this. So with that, I'll give you guys a quick little cleanse, a little smoke cleanse. Doesn't hurt to cleanse the viewers as well. And I'm just going to go over all of the materials that I have here slowly and gradually because I do want to make sure everything is cleansed out when I use it. I, there are a few things I won't, oh, I'm sorry guys, I just bumped the microphone and it was probably loud. I do apologize. This this setup is not my normal, so I'm a little, little awkward as far as that's concerned. So we're gonna cleanse out the different, I have two different glass containers that I'm using here. I don't know if you can tell, but I do have, it is smoking in there and I am cleansing it out. And I like to go around the outside as well. And then I have this one. I just, just picked this, this up. Literally just picked it up. Hold on, let me put this down. So I don't burn myself because I tend to do that a lot. This, this is a jar, a glass jar that I just picked up from Dollar Tree today, literally. So it can be used for all different kinds of things. I didn't buy it with the intent to use for a Yule altar jar, but I did see it. I always like to grab jars if they're good quality and if they're a good price, it never hurts. They, you never know how many kinds of oils or herbs or materials or plant life or whatever you may be having. Now I'm not going to cleanse my cedar or my cinnamon stick because those have their own properties I don't want to remove. I've cleansed my candle. I've cleansed my little pine cone wreath. 
I'm not going to cleanse the cloves. What's in here is orange peel and the salt can stay the same as well. So that's pretty much everything I want to cleanse. I don't even know how I would cleanse the snow. Even though it's in a package, I'm just going to kind of do this because this is like, it's worse than glitter. <laughs> so I am not going to go crazy about that one. But that will at least help it a little bit. Let's get to the big parts of what's going on here, right? What is what and why do we have it? Well, if you're not familiar with Yule, Yule is a form of winter solstice. It's a long ago, yeah, my incense is going out. A long ago Sabbath from the pagans. I do suggest you watch my Yule video that I did earlier this week. Yule is basically a Sabbath, a celebration, a holiday that pagans way back in the day started to do to welcome back the sun, to be excited of making it through the harsh winter or to at least acknowledge that it's going to get better, right? So there's different different kinds of correspondences. I did go over that in my Yule video, so feel free to check that out because I'm not going to do that again today. All right, so I have two different glasses here. I think for the purpose of this video, I'm actually gonna use this one because this one has the jar lid mouth, like the closed mouth, and I feel like that would be a little bit harder to work with on camera, but you can do even smaller ones. Some people do them in mason jars. There's no size requirement for this, okay? So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put down the fake snow and I'm only gonna put a little bit because this stuff is flammable and I don't want to cause like a major problem with it if it gets heated up. And I'm gonna put the salt right on top of it to protect it from burning. But here's some fake snow. I'm also gonna be saving it for my witch's balls that I, that I bought. So we're just gonna put just a little bit to represent the snow of the year. We don't have snow here yet. So that's that, but this is just to acknowledge the winter time, the coldness. It's glitter snow, you know, snow doesn't usually look like that, but you get the point. So there's that, a layer of snow. That's just de de decor, decorative. It's not something that I am, that has any kind of real correspondence as far as magical properties are concerned. And next we're going to use Sea salt, coarse sea salt. Now you can use any kind of salt you want. Table salt, sea salt, kosher salt, coarse salt, sea, dead sea flakes, whatever you want. Salt, the purpose of salt in, any, in most of the spells that I use is for protection. And I'm just gonna, this came, this actually, I bought this at the Dollar Tree, not today, it's been used quite a lot, but I bought it at Dollar Tree a while ago. So I'm just gonna add that on top of the snow for protection. And while I do that, I'm also going to charge it. So when you add components to any kind of spell, you should tell it what the point is, <laughs> tell it what it's for. Um, this isn't really a spell because it's an altar, but it's still good to wake it up and thank it. So I always, when I ground myself, I always end up taking deep breaths in the nose and out through the mouth. So if you hear me doing something that sounds like I'm sighing, I'm actually just taking deep breaths to ground. Okay. If you hear crunching in the background, it's the kitty. She, she sometimes loves to eat just when I'm starting to film videos. So this is a pine cone garland wreath thing. And I actually... This doesn't really fit, so I that's why I have scissors. I was intending to cut it up, which I am going to do. I'm actually just going to, I think I'm just going to pull them out. Oh, crunchy kitty food. Kitty, t kitty ASMR, is that what that's called? ASMR? I think so. Oh, goodness gracious. I might need different scissors. These are kitchen shears. They're supposed to be pretty easy. So that's cute. I mean, people could be like, oh, you're ruining that. Who cares? It was a dollar. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, that one's pretty thick. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut that one off. Hold on. We're going to do this one. 
So what is the purpose of pine cones? They represent good luck and they bring in the evergreen tree energy. So I'm just going to put two there because we're going to add some more stuff and I don't want to overload it. And then we're going to do some freshly trimmed cedar. So I am extremely lucky that I have cedar trees in my yard. They're beautiful trees and I'm always connecting with their energy. My backyard feels extremely self-protected, secured, safe. And that is because these beautiful, huge trees are there. Now, if you gather things from live foliage, make sure you connect with the plant, make sure you ask permission to take it, and make sure you thank it. Also, if your trees are tiny, if there's a tree that's too, super tiny and taking your trimming from it is going to hurt the tree, do not do it, please. Be, these trees, these, these plants, they're living, breathing things. And to borrow from them, to take from them, is a blessing and not something that we should take lightly. So all, I'm not going to use all of this. I'm going to use some of it. And I'm actually going to tuck it in around the sides so that it doesn't catch because cedar is actually extremely flammable. And I'm going to put some on the bottom. And I'm going to put some over here as well. But I'm putting it in places where the flame shouldn't catch. Now, if you're wondering about this jar, this used to be a candle jar. I cleaned it out long ago and reuse it for many things. Now these little guys, so cedar, what's the point of cedar? Yeah, let's talk about that. I'm sorry, I got distracted because I know, I know what I'm doing and I forget to teach about it. Cedar is protective. Cedar is abundant. Cedar is cleansing, okay? So, and it's also just a correspondent of this time of year, this season, this solstice Yule energy. So that is the purpose of the perp. I just realized my voice is echoing and it's literally echoing off of the, the jar lid. I hope that didn't bother you guys. I'm sorry. I just realized what it was. It probably wasn't even picked up on the microphone. Um, so this is also the whole point of Yule is bringing in the evergreen to restart the year, to re to rewelcome the sun. These little guys... They come from the cedar tree. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. I'm not sure if I can focus. Yeah, there we go. They're on my cedar tree. So they came off on the branch that I took them from. So I'm just going to place them in here too because that's what it's for. And I appreciate that. Things from nature do so much more for us than man-made things. Okay, so what is the rest that I have? Oops, sorry guys. I just realized I wasn't focused. Okay. What's the rest of what I got going on here? Well, we have, I'm going to zoom in a little now that I've cleared away some of the stuff. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay. And so we still have a tea light, a cinnamon stick, a container of whole cloves. This container actually has, this was actually a candle from the Dollar Tree and I cleansed it out. I cleaned it out a long time ago because it even has a seal. It has dried orange peel in it. Now, dried oranges in general are a Yule correspondence. Oranges in general are a Yule correspondence because it's a welcoming back of the sun. Oranges represent the sun. And then I grabbed this, which you guys probably don't have. I only got this. It's it's a unique... Hold on. Let me shake it up off camera so it doesn't make you guys dizzy. It's a unique oil. It is from... I actually got it in a surprise grab box from Tamed Wild. I unboxed it on the channel. This is called Spirit Element and it is, if you can see this, I don't know if you can see, it says Sun Child and it's celestial body and ritual oil and it has orange, 
frankincense and solar gold mica in it. So as you can see, it has the, the golden color. It smells amazing. And frankincense is also a scent for this time of year. So I'm going to anoint the candle with it because I thought that this was perfect for solstice and Yule energy, bringing in the sun energy. Okay. Now let's talk about the orange peel for a minute. So I started talking about how orange represents the sun and you could do, like I said, do whatever you have. I didn't go out and buy oranges. These are from oranges that I had that I dried myself. How do you dry them? You peel them. You peel them and you leave them out to dry. You can also put them in the oven at a very low temperature, very slowly. But these are just orange peels. Even though they don't really look like it because they've lost their color, it, they still have the energy of it. So I'm going to sprinkle this in here. And it is to welcome back. Actually, am I dad even a little more I'm hearing? So there's no measurements. If you've noticed the way that I do my spell work, I do it by intuition. I can't tell you how much to add. You need to figure that out yourself. So this honors the sun is what a lot of that does, okay? And now the cinnamon stick. This is actually like a triple cinnamon stick. So I don't know if I'm going to, I'm probably, I'm not going to use all this. So the cinnamon stick represents spices, represents abundance, represents health, represents money. Okay. So I'm not really sure. I might, I think I'm going to have to take one of these out because I need to still put that candle in and cinnamon does catch fire. <laughs> sticks do catch, cinnamon sticks catch fire. So it's okay to put pieces of it. And if you don't have a cinnamon stick, maybe I'll add it in after I add the candle. So I have pieces in there. If you don't have a cinnamon stick, you can always sprinkle ground cinnamon. It's the same thing. So I'm actually going to thank this for, charge this up, the cinnamon for, abundance because the thing I love about charging something with the intent of abundance is abundance covers so many areas. It covers love, health, family, finances, work, covers all of it. So that's the nice thing about abundance. Okay. And then we're going to do the cloves. We're almost on the, the tail end of this. So I'm just going to add as ever, however many you feel are is right or what fits in your situation. They're also a big energy for this time of year and they represent protection. Cloves are very, very protective. So I use them in spell work from time to time, but they're also like that warm, homey, spicy, spice energy, right? So I'm just going to charge that up. And you may say, oh, Mel, how do you do that? I That I don't really want to share because my approach is my approach. Right, so I'm going to take just a few drops of this beautiful sun oil. And I'm just going to put it. It doesn't have a dropper. I'm sorry, you guys. I keep bumping into the tripod. I don't know if it's making a lot of noise or not. Hope, I really hope not. Thank you for being patient with me if it is. So I'm just going to anoint. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. So I anointed the candle. That's all I did, just a little bit on the candle. You have to be careful with oils and candles and herbs and stuff. Use fire safety, please, because it can become a big problem real fast. So I'm gonna put this right in the middle. And we're done. I don't think I'm gonna fit any other cinnamon stick because, yeah, no, because it's just gonna, it's just gonna, it's a little bit too much. So as you can see, I didn't build it up very high. Hold on, let me see what I can do with this. I can tilt it. So as you can see, it's not very tall. So you don't really need a tall glass. You just need something that it can fit around it and, to protect, and that is fire, fire safety, fireproof. I'm gonna go, go grab a quick lighter to light this and we'll wrap it up. Okay, the one thing I did, I did just bring over, hold on, I want to show you guys this. I did just bring over, I have these little stars that they're battery operated and they light up, they're LED stars. The batteries are dead right now, 
But the reason why I brought this over is if you are living somewhere that you cannot burn anything and you wanted to do some kind of altar, mini altar like this, altar in a jar, you can use LED lights like that. You can use little LED um, battery operated tea lights. You can actually get battery operated tea lights at Dollar Tree. They don't last very long, but they do work <laughs> for the purpose. So I just wanted everybody to know that you don't have to do it with fire. And I'm shaking the camera. I'm so sorry, you guys. Tonight, it is literally 11 o'clock at night. I'm usually in bed right now, but I really wanted to crank this out for you all. So, yeah. And I, I still have to upload it. So, we're going to light this baby. And I'm going to turn some of the lights off so you can see what it looks like as it is. All right. Isn't that cute? Perfect. So it's a warm, happy little Yule. And if you had like cranberries or something, you could add that or whatever. Anything that works, anything goes. Mistletoe, holly, ivy. I didn't have any of that stuff. So I used what I had. I did not go out and buy extra stuff. The only thing that I bought was the the snow actually everything else I had I oh and I'm sorry the pine cone garland which I technically didn't even need to buy because I had little baby pine cones from my cedar tree that I forgot I had but everything else I already had in the house so use what you have don't worry about anything else look how cute that is that came out so cute yay and I didn't practice beforehand I just gathered a bunch of stuff and decided this is what I'm going to do. I hope you guys have a wonderful Yule, a wonderful solstice. Now, if you've been hope wanting to get a, a, a reading from me, if you've been wanting to get a reading from me and you just couldn't afford it, I'm going to be running a special and I'm going to film that video within the next two days. I'm going to be running a special for the last week of December through, it's going to be a month long, the last week of December through the last week of January for my YouTube followers, viewers only, I'm going to do a Wheel of the Year reading prediction for my viewers and it will be at a very discounted rate. I have not decided how much it will be. Um, and it's not going to be a huge, huge, huge detailed reading. It will be one card for each month of the year and I will walk you through what that's going to look like for you but it will be a glimpse it's kind of a glimpse for you into the following year and if you want a deeper detailed reading then you can always book a session with me in addition to that so yes uh that will be a special for all of my viewers and I will see you guys all tomorrow I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.